now question number 169 commonly used vectors for human genome sequencing are now in this case tdna this is used for transferring genes in the plants it is from agrobacterium to mephaceans the second one bacterial artificial chromosome and yeast artificial chromosomes now these two vectors have quite large carrying capacity and since the human genes are also quite large so that is why they could be cloned through this back and yak expression vectors are any such vectors which would be transcribing a protein in the host cell and ta cloning vectors are those which have been first of all cloned by the use of tag polymerase and then they are transferred into the host cell so in this case our answer would be back and yak because these are quite large vectors they have larger carrying capacity and that is why they are best for sequencing the human genome so after this next one question 170 four limbs of cat lizard used in walking four limbs of whale used in swimming and four limbs of bats used in flying are an example of analogous organs now analogous organs are those which have the same origin but different function and here all of them are vertebrates their four limbs are having the same origin so it cannot be analogy adaptive radiation now adaptive radiation is for a related group of species which have radiated from a single point and filled up different geographical habitats so in this case some of them mammals are mentioned while lizard that's a reptile so all of them together cannot be taken in the category of adaptive radiation the third one homologous organs now this is the correct choice because all these four limbs are arising from a common origin so and showing thus the common ancestry so this is homologous organs convergent evolution again this cannot be the answer because anyways the analogy leads to convergent evolution so our answer is homologous organs and with this we can move on to question 171 question number 171 now which one of the following are analogous structures now here our options are wings of bat and wings of pigeon gills of prawn and lungs of man and thorns of bougainvillea and tendrils of cucurbita flippers of dolphin and legs of horse now in this case the best answer is the gills of prawn and lungs of man because to find out analogy we have to see that there is no common ancestry if two animals are unrelated then their structures having same function can be taken as analogous so in this case prawn and humans one is a invertebrate the other one is a vertebrate these are unrelated groups so that is why the best analogous structures can be considered for these two so our answer is the second one that is gills of prawn and lungs of man thorns of bougainvillea and tendrils of cucurbita are homologous then flippers of dolphin and legs of horse now in this case one is the forelimb and the other can be if it is the front legs then that is also the forelimb so that again can be taken as homologous now moving on to the next question that is question 172 which is the particular type of drug that is obtained from the plant whose one flowering branch is shown below now this flowering branch is of datura also called jimson sweet it belongs to family solanaceae and from this the drug which is obtained is having hallucinogenic properties that means by taking that drug the person would be seeing objects which are not present or hearing sounds which are also not there so such a property is said to be of a hallucinogen so here the answer is one that is hallucinogen so after this we can move on to question 173 